Welcome back for my final daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Penn, market analyst at Hantech on Friday, 17th of April. Looking at gold, and it's now, I think gold is the most important chart we can, we've been looking at today because we've been talking about recently this potential for a corrective move, and we've now seen that move starting to take shape. Um, the uptrend of the past four weeks has now been broken decisively. The support of the uh, of the breakout 1702 has been broken decisively. Um, and you look in here on the hourly chart, you're seeing now more corrective outlook. First, first thing also, little top pattern completed here, uh, down from uh, 1706, gives you around about, ooh, about, th uh, about 40 bucks worth of corrective move. So it would suggest that we are sort of pulling down into into the sort of next band of support, 1670 area, 1675. Um, I think that that is seemingly where we're coming back to. And seems as though that uh, we've already had the pullback. I was sort of looking at this this morning, it broke decisively just before the European session really kicked off. It rebounded back into that 1702 area where that um, actually sort of created a rebound of about sort of, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, uh, about 19, 20 bucks, um, but then fell over again. And it's uh, since been going lower, tracking lower. So certainly looks as though that this is one is uh, taking on a more corrective outlook. RSI on the alley under 40. That hasn't been really seen since the rally sort of kicked off again through April. MACD line is also turning corrective. So this one, I think, is uh, going to be pulling back 1670, maybe even to 1640. I, I'm still a buyer into weakness on gold. I think on a near term basis, gold has turned corrective. But I think on a medium to longer term basis, we're still looking at weakness as a chance to buy. It's just unwinding some of this really strong breakout move that we saw um, through, uh, through late March into early April. And I think that this is just an unwinding move. So we're now sort of on the uh, on the lookout really for sort of supported buying signals, I think. Um, so just just uh, taking a step back on our positive outlook for now, um, sort of uh, turning, obviously near term, the market is falling away and it looks as though it's um, sort of targeting that 1670 level of breakout support. Um, but we would be looking to use weakness as a chance to buy. It's just unwinding this move, I think, rather than turning decisively negative on a near-term basis. Um, so, uh, yeah, the momentum indicators have sort of all rolled over, sort of confirming the, the move lower. But, um, yeah, I just see it as a near-term move, and I'd be looking to use um, supported weakness and uh, new, renewed buy signals as an opportunity to go long once more. So uh, just taking a step back for now. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website where you can sign up for our webinars. Good luck with your trading this week and have a nice weekend. Thank you.